and welcome to AGTV, the Australian-German private television network owned by the Tri-International Corporation. My name is Oliver and here's the top story of today. A German broadcaster and an Australian journalist working for NTD, the New York-based independent Chinese television network, have eloped and left the United States. Here's their story. Last Friday, the couple, whose names are withheld, took a Qantas flight from the JFK International Airport, flying to Sydney on their way to the South Australian capital city of Adelaide. The two journalists are from NTD, or the New Tang Dynasty Television English News Department. This is the only television network in the world the Chinese regime is afraid of because NTD broadcasts uncensored news into mainland China, exposing the truth about the Chinese communist regime. The man is a German anchor whose photograph hangs on a corridor of fame for NTD anchors at the New York headquarter. He is nicknamed Opossum because of the way he can squint cross-eyed at her with his blue eyes. The Dinkum Australian journalist belongs to the elite English news writing team for NTD China News Broadcast. Coming from a land full of marsupials like kangaroos, koalas and possums, she finds the German opossum most adorable. And so they fall sotto sopra, meaning topsy-turvy in love with each other. The two colleagues first became friends last year. Early last month, he asked her to be his wife. That happened spontaneously over a cup of hot chocolate at the 7th Avenue Dunking Donuts, after the two returned from Shenyin promotions. Being quite introverted individuals, the two secretly got married on February the 14th. After the marriage ceremony, the happy couple was spotted at Times Square having a great time. She in the traditional Han Couture outfit. Only three guests were invited to the ceremony and later for lunch at the National Arts Club. Despite the endeavours to keep a low profile, the couple seems to attract attention. In Times Square, photographer Sidney Goldberg stole a candid shot of them, caught in the moment, smiling into each other's eyes. And the New York Times reporter Ned Schweiber and his photographer Franco spotted them at the Manhattan City of Clark's office at 141 Worth Street. They approached the couple, seeking permission to interview them when the couple was there to get their marriage license. Schweiber was reported saying, Your energies caught our attention. Likewise, 70-year-old Fred Wells at the front desk of the city of Clark's office couldn't stop talking to the couple. The couple plans to travel from Australia to Singapore and Malaysia where they will have a second celebration with the wife's relatives and friends. Upon their return, they may have a third celebration, this time with the husband's family. Stay tuned for more. AGTV, New York. By the power of destiny, by the laws of the great state of New York, I now pronounce you madam. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>